Hey everyone, welcome back to GameSpot. It is Wednesday, Tuesday afternoon here in San Francisco. I'm Mike Mahardy here with Matt Grandstaff from Bethesda. Hey, assistant, how are you? Assistant Community Director? Yeah, that cool. sounds right. Awesome. And uh, we're here on Twitch, YouTube, GameSpot, and Periscope, I believe. We are going to be playing some Skyrim VR and Doom VFR. Uh, right. Bethesda was uh, gracious enough to come into our studio today and play it. We've got Nick Margarita over here. He's in the same room as us. He's going to be playing uh, these games for us and kind of driving. And then uh, we've got... Some, hey, hey. There he is. Virtual <laughs> reality kind of thing. Yeah. up? So he'll be playing... Uh, I'm going to dive in. Starting with Matt. Uh, starting with Doom VFR. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, so yesterday during the Sony showcase for... Uh, like during the Paris Game Week, you got to show off Skyrim, right? Uh, we've been showing uh, at a Sony event both Skyrim right, and I'm gonna Doom dive in. VFR. Both of these, cool. Clips, yeah. Awesome. Uh, this is the first time I believe Nick is playing in VR. Uh, so while Nick's playing, uh, so we, honestly, like what a lot of you want to know is how these games that we've might have already played have changed. Yeah. Uh, so walk us through what's happening here. Obviously, we see some Doom. Uh, so it, it definitely looks very reminiscent to the Doom game you loved and played last year, uh, but VFR is a new experience um, that also has some very unique control uh, mechanisms. Uh, Nick is playing with the PlayStation Aim. Uh, so all the controls are on that. If you if you wanted to, you could also use the the move wands. And if he was playing on cool. the on the Vive, okay. uh, which it's also coming to, cool. uh, he'd be able to uh, use the Vive controllers. Okay, cool. Uh, so he's teleporting around. We've there got we go. 180 turns. Nice. He's controlling a grenade launcher with his head tracking. That's uh, the left hand, right? With well, actually, with the headset itself, it's on the left side. Oh right, right. Okay. Um, and then with the the aim itself, he is controlling the gunplay, launching grenades. Cool. Um, and you got the pulse rifle from the game we know in the other hand, right? Yeah, here. yeah. All the weapons, even weapon upgrades that you're used to, uh, are in it. You are not the Doom Marine. You are actually, if you've played through Doom, yeah. actually, if you've just played the beginning of Doom, the elevator right before the shotgun click Doom title screen, yeah. uh, the guy that is dead in that elevator is the guy that you are playing oh. as. He is. Uh, his consciousness has been transported to an artificial brain matrix oh, from okay. the top secret oh, US, so UAC that. stuff. So the stuff that we're seeing here taking place after the story from Doom or kind of during? It, it's kind of taking place during, but okay. but if you can imagine that guy died before the Doom Marine got there, sure. so this could have been anywhere in the timeline. Yeah. Okay, uh, gotcha. The demons are not gone yet, so. Right. Yeah. Uh, so and obviously like, the, the glory kills were a big deal from Doom 2016, right? Uh, they gave you ammo or health, so like in order to drop health, you would it would encourage you to melee people, and then it, uh, to get ammo, it encourage you to chainsaw people. And there's kind of that the nice gameplay loop. Is that being carried over here? Because I do see yeah, so there, he's oh. flashing right there. There it is. As he teleports, Nick. I was is trying very to do it for you. It's a very good time. Nick. Right on cue. Um, that's called telefragging now, and okay. it, it still has that bonus for you of being able to uh, get an ammo and health boost. Cool. And then here you got a shield guy, obviously. Yeah. These guys can be tough, so. so he did that perfectly right there. He teleported past him, used the 180 turn, and then took him out. Okay. So yeah, obviously, like, uh, so he, we kind of see him warping around, like teleporting, using that uh, that green line we see yep. right there. Yep. Green needs oh. go. Red. Right. Red. You gotta reapply it. But oh, is shoot. there an option to just? He's like kind of like jumping short steps. That's also an option. So yeah, on the uh, it would be the left hand of a move controller or or a vibe. Okay. Um, but here with the aim, there's actually a D pad right by. Uh, the, the front of the gun okay. uh, that, that you can just oh. basically deep pad left, right, forward, back. So he can kind of <sighs> jump, jump, jump ahead or, or move back. So if a cack of demons shooting a fireball or something. Yeah. They killed me, Mike. Yeah, I saw. Way. I just do we have a death back. counter for that or That's do I just one. Uno. track? That's one. Uno. All right. Good that was better in my practice one. rounds, though, which is good. It might have been more. It should be more. Uh, but cool. So, like, how, what is, uh, have you been talking about, like, the length you can expect from this uh, in terms of just overall playtime? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, We've got it on a, a pretty light difficulty setting right sure. here, um, and Nick has died once already. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's okay, Nick. But uh, hey. uh, we see most people kind of getting through it three to three to five hours, okay, I cool. guess, depending on how high you put the difficulty up. Right. Uh, that could be longer. Uh, you know, it starts getting to the point where it's like one thing kills if you move the difficulty all the way up. Right. What about uh, like collectibles? It was always fun kind of exploring the environments. Is, did you kind of have to take some of those out, or did the team have to take some of those out to kind of accommodate for just like purely shooting and moving around? We've got some stuff in there. Like okay. uh, if you get further enough in this level, you know, you can find the little cute cool. Doom uh, uh, bobbleheads that you oh, yeah, fist bump. Yeah. I saw a few of those in, uh, they had one of those in the Evil Den 2 and a bunch of Easter That's right, yeah. A good find. But yeah, it's, it's interesting that 
Doom of all games got moved into VR. I mean, obviously it looks like it's still pretty fluid, but Doom, so much of it, like the team has talked extensively about it. You know, like Hugo Martin and uh, Marty Stratton have talked about how they designed the game focused on forward movement. Like, yep. Apparently, you know, like enemies slow down a little bit when you're not looking at them to encourage that forward movement. But um, it's interesting to see it go into VR, and it looks like the teleporting is kind of the solution to that. How do you keep? Yeah, the you're, you're going? always still moving with teleporting, and, yeah. and you know, the mechanic of you know slowing down time is similar to when you would play Doom 2016 sure. and use the weapon wheel as a strategy to kind of slow down and, and figure out your pathing. Um, but yeah, uh, for the teleporting, we feel like it's the best mechanic for this. Yeah. Uh, for going through stuff, but uh, it still kind of applies the principles of the main Doom game. Sure. And obviously, so you said you can use the move controller like he's, or the aim controller like he's doing right now, or you can use, use the move wands. Is there like a controller, regular dual uh, shot? For, for PSVR, it's it's those two options. Okay. Um, and then the Vive, it's just the standard right. uh, Vive sticks or whatever we call those mm -hmm. cool. and like Pads. this week this week you're showing it mainly in playstation because of the uh, paris games week announcements and everything yeah it's actually the first time uh in our touring that we have been showing it on, cool. on playstation uh we've been doing the vive to date for doom i know there's a third one where is it sometimes he runs away oh god nick so, how's it feeling from your perspective it feels really really good um I like areas. I found them. Sorry, we can talk later. I like the teleport, uh, teleporting because I can get behind enemies and then quickly do a 180. Let's see if I can do it. Is the 180 like mapped to an analog or a D-pad or something? Yes, and so on, on the aim controller there, there's that like four buttons on the right. on the back of the controller. So it's just the very Let's top go, ones baby. So you can quickly flip over. Gotcha. Uh, I also like the, oh, oh shoot. God. So, yeah, I so also like that I can do kind of like a, a short little percentage when I'm strafing. Uh, right here at the top trigger, I can kind of move like 30 degrees. Yeah, there's a, left there's and a right here. little stick that you can flick right, left and right on the... Because that the definitely like reduces my sense of like nauseousness, okay. I guess. And you just like that. you kind of have to whittle down bigger enemies before you do glory kills in Doom 2016, here the same thing you have to do before you do the telefrag, right? That's right. Okay, cool. Yep. Ooh, hello. And that loop still exists. Uh, like, well, actually, you know, I was watching, so when you telefrag people, you can get help. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. As opposed yeah. to... Yeah. Okay. In, in 2016, sometimes it would give you Right. A little of both or one or the other, kind of just balancing depending on what you have in your inventory. I always love that because when you're super low on health, it doesn't encourage you to go just take cover and hide. It yeah. actually says go rip people apart, go into the thick of things. Good strategy. The one thing that I will say takes getting used to um, is that in order to teleport, I use my head. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I forget and I just try to aim. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Whereas you're using the aim for your right hand gun. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, what's that? You're aim using is, you're yep. using the aim on the, the right hand. for your gun. There we go. You got we him. Oh, he knew what I was you. doing. And Probably so got some grenades still too. Where uh, where in the playthrough is this right now that we're seeing? Kind this of uh, this is kind of the middle. I was gonna say because yeah. he has all the guns. Are you no, still we, like we've got Kaka demons and, and yeah, right. so this is a little bit early. Mid, mid game. Hi. And do those gun upgrades How are still you? exist Whoa. in the VFR? Yeah, okay, cool. so uh, I'm oh, trying that's to think of the right work. button, but uh, as you go to upgrade mm -hmm. stations, mm -hmm. if you have the uh, machine gun, you can add sure. the, the, the homing rockets or shotgun you can fly up. Cool. So we've got upgrades uh, kind of scattered throughout the world. Mm, I don't know if this is a good idea. That's just not a good idea. Oh, this is a bad idea. There he is. Oh man, Kibis. Oh man, there's two. Hey, I did pretty good that time. Yeah, you were uh -huh. all right. Uh -huh. got, all right, two deaths. I'm more all excited right, to that. No, I'm just kidding. You did a good job with that uh, Kakademon. Oh! So, oh hey, back he's here. going to the transport station right now. All right. You still have the um, charge pistol shot you can do? Uh, I believe that's an upgrade, but I'm right, not 100% okay. sure. He also has a, a button that he can stagger them back. Okay. Uh, so if, if folks get too close to you, especially in VR, if you you have three or four demons right in your face, uh, you can press a button that, that kind of does a force push in all directions. Cool. I, I've now Oops. called it Fusro Doom, but... Yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> you liked it. I enjoy a good part. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, speaking of, for the people just joining, uh, whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, Periscope, or GameSpot, we are here playing Doom BFR. We got Nick Mar Margarita using the aim controller. Uh, we're here with Matt Grandstaff from Bethesda. We're also about halfway through, maybe around 1.30ish. We're going to switch over to Skyrim VR uh, to show some uh, exploring in that. But right now, yeah, we're kind of focused on killing some Ooh, demons. Yeah. It's a cat to kill right there. Nice. And uh, there's that telefrag we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Yep. It, it's interesting to see um, like time slow down, and this reminds me kind of of what we might be. I know we're not talking about it right now, but we might be expecting with like the vats in Fallout VR. Yeah, Something I mean, like just that. just touching on that with Fallout 4 VR, uh, vats is is a little bit different in, in how you you navigate. You'll actually activate it, uh, and whether you're controlling with a uh, direct movement or teleporting, once you go into vats, it goes into a teleport method regardless of your control mm. setup. Okay. So I can queue up a couple shots, shoot for the left arm, shoot for the head, and then actually teleport and use, be using action points as you're moving through yeah. the space Come and on targeting. Now. Uh, and that, that, that comes out, uh, that's Goodbye. the last of our three VR games coming out. Okay. Uh, this year, that's December 12th. Uh, I still have right. ammo for this? Yeah, because you were saying it's Ooh, I do. Skyrim and then Fallout. And then yeah, yeah, we, we have a big Skyrim yeah. day November oh. 17th because it's Skyrim VR and PSVR and Nintendo Switch is, yeah. is releasing Aha. that day. Uh, and then Doom is December 1st uh, for uh, PSVR and Vive. Yeah. And of course, you can also play Doom on Switch on November 10th. Cool. A lot of dates. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. And then next year, at some point, Wolfenstein 2 will be That's ported right. over to yep. the Switch. That's awesome. I just finished, Nick and I just both finished. Wolfenstein is so good. <laughs> Get away from me. The pulse rifle is an interesting choice for that kind of a I know. proximity. I'm going to yeah. jam. Go, 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 so, go. So as like a, like talking to the community and everything, from yeah. people who are fans of Doom 2016, oh, and then when they found Louise. out that it was coming to VR, what are some of the questions that people were consistently go, 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 asking? Um, was it something like, how do you port such a, like a fluid, fast-paced shooter over yeah, to it, VR? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a big part of it because, you know, Doom, it's Gucci. funny to say Doom 2016 yeah. now, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, obviously you would get into these large arena situations yeah. that, that, like you said earlier, you're always moving forward. Um, but but we feel like we've tackled a way where you're always moving and, and, and still getting into situations uh, with hordes of enemies. But the control is is very different. Um, it's also uh, you know just for anyone that mm -hmm. plays it, the mm -hmm. sense of scale when you're playing this, like a cacodemon looks like the scariest thing you could ever imagine when More it's right in front of you. I, I, imagine, I mean, right? it looks like you're looking at the most bloated seven foot person <laughs> ever. Yeah, and I the mean, scariest person ever too. Obviously, the using assets from Doom 2016, but how much of the like, how many of the levels were redesigned to accommodate VR? Is it like a complete uh, scrub through, or did they take, did they just look at certain areas that they needed to? Rework? There's certain areas that that work the way they, they wanted it to work for VR levels, but uh, at the same time, we're very cognizant of the fact that this is the UAC facility, yeah. and areas that you've been in would oh. be areas you were in previously. That's, that's three. That's three. Yes. Yeah. Still doing good though. Three. Past that area. I got a lot further than I did when we were first practicing, so yep, I'm proud. Yeah, he's to an smart. extent. Uh, so all these games are coming out will launch. So Skyrim uh, and Doom and Fallout will all be released simultaneously on Vive as well as PSVR. Or only a couple of them. Doom. Skyrim is PlayStation VR only. Okay. Uh, Doom is Vive and PlayStation VR. Uh, Fallout is Vive only. Okay. Um, it's a lot of work for the teams to be going sure, through and, yeah. and, and getting these all ready. Uh, and as we've told our community and, and other folks, we're looking at next year being an opportunity to bring the games to other platforms, sure. other VR platforms. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's I like how he's just creeping there, like, <laughs> hey there. Come through this door, and nothing bad will happen. It's uh, it's it's great to see Bethesda, you know, and like Bethesda, not just Bethesda, but a lot of third-party uh, publishers and developers supporting the Switch. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the Wii U hardware was a little harder to to factor in when you're talking about, you know, bringing it from PS4 or Xbox One to Switch is different than, you know, like bringing things to the Wii U. The technology was not exactly there. But it's great to see the Switch doing well, and I'm excited to try out Doom. I know Nick played Doom on Switch a little bit a couple months ago. Um, it's great to see Bethesda like working with Nintendo again. I'm excited because I've been playing my Switch a lot. Yeah, b b both play great. I've, I've played most more time with Skyrim on Switch, but yeah, uh, both play really well and. You know, from from the day the Switch came out, like the devs, guys I work with, we're all we are all big fans of, of what the platform is, what it does. Like 
we're traveling right now and we can play Mario and talk about what we're yeah. doing like in between taping stuff. So it's, it's been great. Yeah, you're, you're traveling kind of all over the country this week, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and so to have a game like Mario Odyssey come out like yeah. right in the Perfect. middle of it, pretty good deal. And, Definitely. and hopefully soon I'll have uh, Skyrim and Doom on my Switch as well. Cool. So. And yeah, these are these are like super. It was it's interesting because even like E3 when when Bethesda first announced Fallout 4 officially, they were like, oh, it's coming out in six months, was it? They like officially announced it right before release. So it's it seems like Bethesda likes to do that, right? To finally show off stuff not that long before it's released, so you can like pique their people's excitement, and then we get to play this. In yeah, a I mean, or two. it's a never say never. We might announce something, and then someday, yeah. you know, it comes out a year or two later. But but we do like that idea of. Here's our 2017 lineup, sure. and, and we showed all these different uh, games at, at our showcase this year, yeah. and I don't think there's a single one that you can't play in some capacity at this point, so, sure. or or by the end of the year with the VR titles. So. Right, right. And it's interesting, I mean, like, it's one thing, like I said, like, it just seems so interesting to bring Doom over to VR for the reasons we talked about for the shooter, and like, we can talk more about this when we start playing Skyrim, but like, bringing that that massive open world that a lot of us have been playing since what 2012 when the game initially released like it's gonna be so weird in a hopefully a good way seeing it in vr but it just seems like such a daunting task and i can't imagine the work that went into it on bethesda's part yeah but. i mean it's the it's the first open world adventure in vr that is like you know here's a big 200 hour game yeah. i say 200 hours but every time i meet somebody they go skyrim for 700 yeah. hours or something like that's the introduction um, so it's a big undertaking, and you know the, the team's done a really great job over the last couple of years. And to be doing, you know, for Bethesda Game Studios to be doing that uh, with two VR titles <laughs> at the same time, you know, let alone them working on other projects, like it's a huge, huge task for them. So, um, do you know anything like behind the scenes? I'm not sure if you were there early in the development, but do you know oh, if was it like? Was it Bethesda approaching uh, it or something and saying, hey, we want to bring Doom to VR, or was it vice versa? Or was it kind of a mutual interest in doing it? I mean, there's always business discussions, but I can tell you just from about, I can't remember, it was three or four years ago when we got a Vive set up in Bethesda Game Studios, and, and one of our devs actually invited me up. Hey, we have this now, do you want to you wanna check it out? And sure. I had no idea whether they were doing Fallout 4 or Skyrim or, or, or what all have three. you, you know, in, in VR. Sure. Uh, so they just walked me through a very early Vive demo where I think I was inside an asteroid and breaking my way out. Okay. And, and the best part was there was this really immersion-breaking moment where all of a sudden I, I felt like this wet sensation on my hand, and it was, uh, it was our lead level designer for uh, BGS, uh, Joel Burgess, his dog, River, who was dog oh. meat. You know the mocap dog in the game oh, was, right. yeah, yeah, was yeah. in the room with me while I had the headset gotcha. on, licking my hand. It's so. a very like fourth dimension kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You just needed like some sort of smell to yep. complete it. Oh, there, there's a bobblehead. There, there we got a. <laughs> Speaking of collectibles, we'll do a guide. How do I pick this up? Oh, is it uh, this one? Oh, you got it. Yeah. Nicely done. You guys didn't expect me to get that far. <laughs> You're breaking the game, Nick. <laughs> Doing it, man. How about how long? Uh, I mean, we, in terms of like okay, our play, we got like another ten minutes. But uh, like Ooh, hello. when you're this build right now, you have this is the final build of the game. It's or? not the final build, but it has ten. most of the levels in it. Okay. And I believe it's, I believe it's seven or eight chapters. So I mean, he's only been in one of the chapters this entire time. Yeah. Uh, and and not, you know, gotten through um, the whole way. And so here's an ex example of upgrading in the game. Okay. Cool. Yeah, ammo. Yes. Oh, so you can like increase the, the speed or decrease the time at which speed slows. It looked like time dilation. Yeah, so we we have we have those upgrades, and then on top of that, there's also okay. the actual the actual weapon upgrades. Awesome. A little puzzle here. Some of the cool stuff in VR, oh, like okay. puzzles that you can navigate, uh, and also have things where it's like, you know, that uh, sensation in VR of uh, holding a switch and pulling it forward uh, or pushing it. Right. Yeah. And uh, Matt, you and I don't have sound right now in the studio, but Nick and people watching you do. Is it still like uh, the metal music you come to know, I'm assuming, Nick? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I love how it crescendos tell. into like, these heavy guitar riffs when you yep. get into a fight, and that's, that was one of the big, like, the best joys of this game. Because uh, the same, the same uh, composer did Wolfenstein 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mick Gordon was yeah. on Doom, Wolfenstein, hey, and uh, Prey. Yeah. Three awesome Busy soundtracks. Guy. Yeah, yeah. 
he have the uh, Bethesda, Bethesda World have, Tour. Yeah, I was gonna say they're lucky to have him uh, kind of come into a few yeah. different properties. He's been he's been doing great work. I'm terrified. <laughs> I can hear. Oh uh -oh. God! Now we've got the revenant. No, 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 no. Nick, are you, you seem to like the pulse rifle a lot. Is that it's because the the bullets are so wide that I can see them easily. Oh, so you don't he is it. so much bigger than I thought he was. Yeah. He does look tall. What's he feel like? About eight feet or something? I mean, I'm not a tall dude, <laughs> and he feels like he's like ten feet tall. Oh my god, this is horrible. So you said this the, the dead person. Well. You're playing as that person, as the Doom Marine that you see dead on the elevator. Are they a member of? Uh, you are a U UAC uh, employee. UAC. Okay. Um, Mm, nice. And you're kind of in this like, uh, oh hi! Dis it's a disembodied experience. Sure. It's your Go consciousness because you actually, when you start the game, you have these like little hook hands that you're using, yeah. and then you, you, as you upgrade, you you get a suit to put on and start equipping, equipping weapons. Okay. Oh my god! I, I always joked around about uh, Doom when I first played. Ooh, gross! Like, it's probably the only shooter I've ever played where. I forgot that I just always had a rocket launcher. <gasps> yeah. Like in any other game, that's the that that's like a, a super powered weapon, and in this game, it's kind of just, oh I forgot I have. Yeah. This. One, once you have it, you have it. And, yeah. Uh, and but you also have a ton of other insane guns. Like when you get the, uh, the automatic missile launcher upgrade for the assault rifle, at least in Doom 2016, that was kind you're of you're constantly using it, and, yeah. and that was one of my favorite parts. You know, experiencing the game is that a lot oh, of yeah, games. Oh yeah, keep forgetting to use the grenade launcher. You know, a lot of games you, you get to a point where you feel like this is my jam, this gun and this gun, or yeah. something like that. And Doom, with with the way the balance is with ammo, oh. like you're always kind of saying, nope, I have to upgrade everything yeah. and start oh, I can. And start switching okay, cool. between all of them. And there you get kind of this nice rhythm going. Go. Oh, here we go. What do you want me to upgrade, Mike? Um, I'm a fan of the Super Shotgun, personally. Okie dokie. There's a lot of people I would say. Classic. What did that just do to it? I didn't see what... But we did, actually. Oh man, I love that. That's one of my favorite shotguns in a game. Actually, speaking of uh, Prey, that was pretty awesome to finally get the shotgun in that game. Yeah. Am I going down? Oh, I'm going over there. Okay. Wait, yeah, Nick, have you used the grenade launcher yet? Uh, not really, no. So back where I came that from? If you can. Be pretty, I'd like to see that. Oh, I thought I was over here. Man, just watching this makes me. I played Doom twice, I think, since it came out, and just, just makes me want to return to it. I'll probably wait for oh. this, and then especially Switch and VR. I'll what wait difficulty for those. level did you ramp up to? Uh, whatever the penultimate one was called. Oh, okay. I, um, I don't. Not the hardest. What's the hardest one called? Is it Chaos? Uh, no, that's a different ultra game. Ultra violence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've not played on that. Yeah. <laughs> that maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll ease into VR and then do that. Are the same difficulty levels in VR? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, it's like the same thing, like. I want to replay Wolfenstein like with a separate Wolfenstein 2 with a separate timeline between Fergus and Wyatt, but I also <laughs> kind of might want to wait until the Switch just to do that. But that's kind of who knows when that's going to yeah. release, right? Which are you playing as right now? Uh, I did. I finished with uh, the Wyatt timeline. Okay. Um, cool. Based on all the trailers, uh, we wanted to see. Did I do it? More. Yeah. Cool. Is that the demo? Very all nice. Right. Nick Margarita, nice job. You've done it. Was uh, it three deaths or four? Three, I think. Three. Not, not Be bad. honest. You didn't think I could do it. There's three. All right, people watching on Twitch, YouTube, don't go anywhere. We, right now, are going to transition over to Skyrim VR. It's the wow. first time we're showing at GameSpot. I believe the first time Bethesda's live streaming it from uh, an outlet outside of uh, what, ABC, was it, earlier this year or something? Yep. Uh, so stick around for that. This is Matt Grandstaff. Uh, Matt Grandstaff, sorry, I just added a T at the end of that for oh, whatever that's reason. Good. I liked uh, it. <laughs> Assistant Community Director for Bethesda. I'm Mike Mahardy. And uh, Nick and another Matt from Let's Bethesda go. are setting up Skyrim VR. So we're going to show you that. Uh, meanwhile... Like I said, we, uh, just to reiterate, release dates for all these, because you got a slew of games coming out, right? Uh, first off, we have Skyrim, f or sorry, Fallout 4 coming to HTC Vive. Uh, first is Skyrim VR. That's Skyrim VR. PlayStation VR. PlayStation VR. That's November 17th. Okay. Uh, coincides with the Switch release of Skyrim. Cool. Same day. Uh, Doom VFR is PlayStation VR and Vive December 1st. Okay. Um, and then ends with uh, Fallout 4. On December twelfth, cool. Vive only. Uh, all the VR stuff we're looking at. What platforms we can support next year? Cool. Additional ones. And then. Uh, are you ready to go? I think you are. You tell me. Are you ready to go? Let's you want to do switch it. over to Skyrim. All right, cool. So Nick is using the PlayStation Move controllers. Uh, where are you about? Is this like kind of toward the beginning, or this is this is, a bit this the is game? Uh, after you've uh, escaped from Helgen? Okay. Uh, so at yeah. the start of the game, this is actually 
where we would present a lot of Skyrim demos six years ago. Okay. You know, showing off yeah. everything you can see. You can go to those mountains in the distance. Now you can experience all of it in VR. Uh, it's the game you know and love. It's, uh, you know, Doom was a different experience from Doom 2016. This is Skyrim. This is everything in Skyrim. And so it's the all world the... exists as we remember it, just yep. in like a little bit reworked, I'm sure, visually for Yeah, VR. I mean, even if... Like something subtle, like if he twists his arm and, and moves the sword around, like okay. you never were looking at the your weapons kind of from all angles. And yeah, yeah. If you pull up magic, now the ability to kind of cast in any direction yeah. uh, you want is, is, is something that's, I, I think, remarkable to do and, and play and experience. It just, you kind of feel like you are just amazing. <laughs> that was one of my first character builds in Skyrim and back in 2012 was kind of a spell in one hand, sword in the other yep. kind of thing. That seems yeah. super appealing. Yeah, it would always be flames and sword and, yeah. uh, uh, or, or restoration in flames. And, yeah. and, and now it's just like, I just want to try everything now with, with the move controllers to, to go through. This was actually a, like, I kind of had a wow moment when I was looking at this in VR because just the, the sense of scale you get when you look up in the world, the skybox looks yeah. amazing and uh, it's a pretty great feeling. So I, I forgot what someone uh, back when the game came out. They timed how long it took to walk from like the east end of Skyrim to the west, and I think it's like forty minutes, or maybe more. I've I've heard something like that. Yeah, I, just, I guess it depends. You know how much armor you've got on you if you're right, running, yeah. what your stamina is. And uh, and I wonder if just like I mean I'm sure in VR it just Im implies that sense of scale so much more, and kind of just like your, the actual distance you're traveling feels so much more. Uh, you know like. Yeah, tangible. you feel you feel like you're yeah. you're really just <laughs> trekking through that. Yep. Next so all the looting's in, everything you want to look at. Give me all your stuff. This Give is a up. mature rated stream. Yeah. Where people don't Let's see uh, Nick loot poking take her all. Page. Yep. Uh -huh. um, Give it to me. And so we, I was asking you this before. So this uh, you can. My clue, go in here. Do you yeah, need yeah, the, go ahead. Uh, cool. You need the move controllers or the Vive wands. So there's there's three main control mechanics we have. Uh, the one that Nick's doing right now. Uh, is with the move, and it, with the left move button, pressing that in, he can then point in the direction he wants to move. Okay. So it gives a very smooth movement. Uh, with his right hand there, I think it's the X and O buttons, he can pivot the camera okay. uh, about 15, 20 degrees uh, to, to really make sure he can direct himself to where he needs to go. Obviously, the head tracking plays in. Uh, the other move, PlayStation like move, uh, hold, hold well, triangle on the right hand. Uh, for two seconds, that'll crouch you. Too late, uh, man. You blew it. I know. Yeah. Uh, we, we have this on a, a novice right now, so if they go down pretty quickly, don't give yourself too much credit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also, nicely done. Anybody else in the room, steer clear of Nick because he is flailing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then we have the teleportation control mechanic. Okay. Uh, and then if, if you kind of need a break, he's standing up, obviously, right yeah. now. Uh, if you if you just kind of want to experience Skyrim like you're used to, you can sit on the couch, use a Dual Shock, and just use the headset for kind of the immersive factor. Right, Nick, you've got one headphone in, but how does it sound? Does it sound like you're in the cave? It like after I mean I've played this game three or four times on like a bunch of different consoles. This is so cool because I've been here before, mm -hmm. and I actually feel like I'm physically inside which yeah. is freaky. actually what's really cool if, if you go forward because it looks like there's some light passing through in the cave or maybe that's steam any any place like the the first time you enter bleak falls barrow and you kind of see the light casting in or you're at the end of a cave and you can see the light casting out that like you really have the sense of like oh i'm actually here right um that uh bleak falls what for me was the moment where i was kind of just <laughs> stopped playing Skyrim like I was playing Skyrim and said, I'm actually going to look around sure. and, and see what the world looks like now. Stop and smell the roses. So exactly, sorry. yeah. Nick, when you're, uh, does, I'm assuming his character has, like, fireball or... Uh, I can uh, equip that if you want. Whatever yeah. you want. I kind of want to see the spells. Sure. Here, how uh, okay, so I want to hit... Because it comes up as kind of like a hovering... Uh, uh, triangle or circle, actually, on the left hand. Oh, there we uh, go. So that's your favorites menu, menu when you hit circle. Uh, oh, just flames. kind of minority report down by holding the trigger with your left hand to flames. One more. And then hit the move button on both. I like how I'm Bingo. just putting my hands up. Uh, on both, hit circle and back out of there. And yeah, so now you can you can twist and turn your hands however you want and just start. Uh, the the part I always joke about is just pointing it at my face. And uh, uh, it's very cool. Yeah, wait, point at yourself. 
What are these? Oh! <laughs> That's hot. Yeah, that is super weird to see because like, like it was always the fixed point they were going toward. And so yeah, yeah. It, it, and so, uh, actually, our, our producer loaded me in a, a save without telling me what I was about to see, and there was a dragon in front of me and a, and a bear, and it was this oh crap moment, and like immediately it, I instinctively kind of went like this and was <laughs> casting in one direction and casting oh! in the other. Right. You kind of do a little flame like, on. How do you can think? Yeah, yeah. You know, just. Up the hands together, you gotta go. Uh, actually, so if you notice there, when he looks down, the, the quest compass is now uh, below, and any oh, okay. relevant information like health, stamina, or right. magicka uh, will be dis displaying below. If oh, they I reach see. any sort of critical state, um, they will uh, raise up a little higher on the okay. screen so that you're able to see it. Gotcha. And I'm like the. Try the consolation page where you're upgrading perks, is that still intact, the same thing? Yeah, uh, you go through and you, you can hold the menu and kind of uh, cycle through everything. The map's actually really cool to, to pull up as well. Um, you are kind of immersed in the world, okay. probably at a thousand foot view looking at the okay. map and you can move through with the same control mechanics that yeah. you do. Yeah. I'll have Nick bring that up when he gets out of the, out yeah. of the cavern. There's a switch somewhere that I don't know if you Hit it or not. Oops, someone's shooting me. Uh, but if you get a two-handed weapon, do you hold it kind of differently? I, 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 oh, actually, Nick, once you kill this guy, I'll show you. Pick up that long sword it. that's up on the... Turn around real quick. This is where I'm going to make Nick feel silly um, once you get rid of that guy. Uh, so you have a bow and arrow you could, you could uh, pull out, or you could, you can probably get him with... Uh, I'll probably get him with this. Burn! Slowly but surely. Oh, there you go. Burn! Yeah, he's toast. There you go. Uh, head back down towards the water. Okay. So this. And then here? Yeah, so so kind of dip your toes in, get to the to the deep end of the pool, and actually crouch physically. Actually, I don't, maybe it's not shallow enough. Uh, uh, but, but for swimming in the game, you actually, when you go below sea level, you can crouch. And Might you see that here. you're kind of at both levels of the water. Oh, okay, cool. And if you're actually underwater far enough, this might be too shallow. Uh, you use the triggers, and you actually do kind of a breaststroke oh, mechanic love to, to see swim Nick through. Do that. Maybe yeah. when we get outside. We yeah, can yeah. Find yeah. Let me let me go back outside then. That'd be that, that'd be kind of uh, fun. Go the if river. you're like if you're doing a thieves guild mission and you want to sneak when yeah. you're in the water and you kind of just duck under it. I, I've definitely spent more time than I need to just kind of like peeking my head out of the water because yeah. it looks. It looks really cool when you do it. Like an alligator? Yeah. Or a crocodile? I think Martin Sheen, but an alligator works too. That too. Another thing that's awesome in my perspective is that how the, um, the sides of the screen go dark when I'm like sprinting or I'm moving around because that helps me, like if I'm feeling a little weird or like wheezy, that, that tightness yeah. makes me feel so much more focused about what I'm doing. Yeah, in that setting, you know, if somebody go doesn't like that, there's actually a slider that you can you okay. can adjust how that works or turn off completely. Yeah, go jump in that river. Okay. <laughs> so because <laughs> of the current weird. flow, you'll still need to swim. It might be hard to swim upstream. Oh, you yeah. Make your arms a... too tired. Uh, but yeah, look to the right. And yeah, ah. so you can just pop. Like, as far as I remember, there isn't a, a point in Skyrim where you can kind of get that both levels uh, where it feels no, like you're I think so. like looking into this the water. This is so cool. And so if you can get a little deeper, yeah, there's some Come fish. Here, fishy. I'm just kidding. Uh, if you can find some deeper water uh, where you feel like you're not touching uh, the ground anymore, once you're underneath, <laughs> you would hold both triggers and do exactly what you were doing. <laughs> this is okay. a bad place to do it. Try, 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 uh, turn, turn around and try going uh, down the waterfall. OK. Even if you just have to walk to start with. I think I'm walking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's really happening. It's happening. Oh! oh, you did it. You did it. <laughs> yeah. White water rafting. That was great. That felt so cool. Uh, when you get out of the water, Nick, can we see the map? Yes, Are we sir. Yeah. About the hover view of the, over uh, the map. I'm drowning. Try off and. Uh... Is this how I swim? I think you're, I, I don't know if you're in deep enough water to. Okay. Oh, so the current's taking you under, and at this point you would want to make sure your head is, you know, far enough below <laughs> to be able to swim. 
But yeah, now you're up. You're out, you made it. Okay, so to pull up the map. Hi, uh, Mr. Wolf. Try triangle on the left hand. Okay. It's your right hand. Uh, and then, you know, just press the trigger in and press down to map. Okay. And so the same, same movement you were doing before uh, applies here. So you're just ah. kind of moving through. That beacon of light is actually where you're presently at. Um, right outside Falkreath, is that right? Uh, you're right by Riverwood, Riverwood right okay. now. Falkreath is up. Uh, but we have all the holds unlocked uh, cool. right now. Obviously, as you get, to, you know, there's hundreds of locations in Skyrim. You know, all of them are going to pop up here, and you're going to be able to, to fast travel as as you need to uh, throughout them. You can set markers just like you would in the main game. Um, and, and actually, if you, as you can see right there, we we put a little pointer in so you, that you can show okay. where in the world you're you're looking to target. Can we go to so we can go to a hold right now from yeah. here? Yeah. Nick, can you go to? Do you have a? Or no, you can't. Which one you want me to go to? Uh, why don't you go to White Run? It's right, White right Run. by you. Uh, yeah, there right go. there. And then what do I press to go there? The move. Uh, you would press the right move button. Okay. So press the right move button. Oh, uh, I gotta kill that wolf oh, yeah. really quick. So, so maybe not. Maybe we'll just adventure getting instead. Getting attacked by wolves. I can kill that wolf really quick. I just need to find it. Where did it go? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Another good place to be. You could actually walk towards uh, Bleak Falls too. If you want to see a, a, a larger scale combat in cave. <laughs> Jesus, Nick. What? Cruel as hell. He wasn't yeah, head, head up this way. Okay. This uh, way. And double tap uh, the move to run on the left hand. I think I am, right? I can't tell. I think you're, you're moving pretty quickly. Yeah, what kind of characters like... do you have right now? I didn't even see. I yeah, don't that's really, know. There's no third person. There's no third in person. VR, right? Okay. That wouldn't really oh, feel. Oh, I know. And we town. requested a build. I'm pretty sure he's wearing uh, the Nothing imperial the armor oh, right now. Up. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, that, that you get at the beginning of the game, and uh, right. I know we have the, you know, the iron armor. She's seen a dragon. We all know. Uh, Excuse me, ma'am. Hi. You don't want to talk to me. And so the, the, you could start the Golden Claw quest by going in the, the house there, or actually you can just move around and, and you know, ascend to <gasps> Lake Falls. Hello! All right, so just keep going? Yeah, you, yeah, you can go wherever you want, but... Uh, uh, Play to your heart's content. <laughs> coming up this way. I would like to go to Whiterun if I could, if that's cool. If that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to look at the map that. on that... Uh, that's that'll work. Uh, it's so gorgeous. Uh, okay, so here. Oh, uh, well, yep. also another question that I, I, maybe you've been asked uh, by fans and whatnot. Will there be mod support at all for this, being on uh, like there was with the Skyrim Special Edition or anything? Presently, there's no okay. mod support in the game. If if it's something that we can figure out as a, as a possibility, okay. we'll, we'll let everybody know. But right now, it's it's everything that's in the base game plus. You know all the DLC content. That okay. Came out. Cool. Yeah. What is that? So the Dawn Guard. I'm yeah. trying to remember. I played all. Dawn Guard, Hearthfire, Hearthfire, and uh, Dragonborn. Dragonborn's the one where you actually go to you the, go to the separate island. island. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. <sighs> this makes me happy. Just bringing back memories, Nick. It does. I, I, I think that's one of the cool things when you when you play through this is it's like wow, this is all this. I know all these things, but I've never seen it yeah. like this before. And White Run always reminded me of Edoras from Lord of the Rings, like the Rohan kind of horse lord area. Right. The the companions quest line was was my favorite uh, of the kind of the side quest stuff in the game. Yeah. Um, you first meet I them think fighting probably giants because I started here and, and dealt with giants and yeah. you know, got to the werewolf and all that. That's bumpy. Yeah, that was always fun. What's the? You get the shield at the end, right? Forget the guy's name. His shield that you get from that tomb. Yeah, and then, and then the, my favorite, my favorite weapon in the whole game is the, oh, is. the two-handed axe with yeah. red that you get. Yep. I have a uh, uh, cosplay cosplayer made one for me. That is that's pretty awesome. That axe? Yeah. Oh it's, damn. It's bad axe. <laughs> you're a, you're firing on all cylinders yeah, with puns today. I'm you're trying. making me look bad. I'm usually. Not that good with them at all, though, so it's nice to um, keep, keep getting more kids and more puns happening. Yeah. Wow, look at that. 
Well, yeah, it's I mean, a nice little uh, nice view you've got there. Doesn't look as cool to you as it does to me, but wow. There's a sense of scale there. Yeah, big time. Here we go. Want me to go inside? Yeah, even even something like that, like looking up and seeing those archways like that, uh, really, you know, what we're seeing right here doesn't do it justice. Yeah. Go inside, talk to the Jarl. Am I facing the... Oh. <laughs> You're good. Facing the right way. Yeah, for those just joining, we've got about another 10 or 15 minutes with Skyrim VR. Playing on PSVR, whether you're doing it on Twitch, YouTube, GameSpot, or uh, I believe we're periscoping this as well. Uh, we're here with uh, Matt Grandstaff from Bethesda, Nick Margarita playing over there on uh -oh. the PSVR with the Move controllers. He's here in Whiterun. People are suspicious of him. What did you do? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what you did, but... You, you know, don't keep backing away, just making at, yourself look suspicious. Point, uh, you might want to... Uh, put your hands uh, up. What do I do? Put your hands up. Uh, you, you can actually... Uh, or you can Fusro Da her. Oh. Uh, he, he just wanted to talk to you. Okay. Uh, he just uses the move controller. So yeah, you yeah, can talk to the Yarl. He's just suspicious right now. It's like understandable. This, this guy with a with a headset on with blue flashing lights walked in the room. If Nick Margarita uh, walked into me. the room, I'd be suspicious. He's got that look about him. Yes, Yarl. Yarl <laughs> Gruff, that's a tame. Yes, sir, I did. Really? Oh, I forgot he can so hear sorry, what they're yeah. saying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We uh, Matt and I don't have audio for watching. But we, we can imagine. We've yeah. been here. Nick's picking the sarcastic response, it looks like. As he's one to do. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> See ya. Check you later. Nick's not in a talking mood. And now, oh, something fun you could do. You can leave him with, uh, you do have your, we, we've unlocked the dragon shout, so why don't you just mess up their table oh, for you? Yeah. For them. Just the table, not them, right? Eh, well, I mean, if you happens. want some chaos, you can do it, but if you just want to <laughs> knock the table over, you know, okay. all the stuff on the table. Oh, the first there we go. There. This, hey. this guy just has got to Hey, what's up, it. dude? Oh, wait, I gotta wait for it to recharge on yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, luckily he went to the place setting that didn't get anything knocked over, so he's not pissed at you. Hey, what's not up? Yet. Oh wait. Yeah, it's got to recharge. All right, we'll do someone outside. That Going guy, back that out. guy's spared for today. Yeah. Huh? You're sparing that guy for now? Yeah, I'm gonna do someone in the community instead of flying. So yeah, you're getting that black ring around the the vision when it's you're just moving kinda, too. As, as you're doing direct movement forward. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Whoa! I just out. felt like, like uh, a sense of um, scared of heights. No heights. Yeah. They, oh! Hey now, sir. Uh, it's on. I think it's now wanted. Get at me! I think it's going down the uh, renegade roof with this character. Get out of here! Oh God, there are many of them. Oh sweet, your light you armor see went you're, up. You're, you're leveling up as you as you would. Ah! They're looking right in my face. Probably give them a shout at this point. Not part. the women in yeah, children! Yeah. Shout them. Oh, yeah. uh, so you gotta hold it hold it longer to get the full ah, force. Back up. Go this way. You are in a really bad predicament. I am like fully surrounded. surrounded. Dumb. Or done. Yeah, We're bailing. Yeah. He can't even hear us making fun of him. What are you making fun of me for? No, not you, it's cool. We were talking about something else. The white guard, white run guard. Yeah, these guys are strong when I'm though. this week. Yeah, uh, another good one is the uh, electric. Uh, go, 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 go. Sparks? Is that yeah, sparks. sparks. Yeah, yeah. Go full Palpatine on them. The master level destruction spells are awesome. Blizzard is always my favorite. Oh, no. You wouldn't even have to aim it. <laughs> there you go. Right? <laughs> This is just Nick's mischievous fantasy. <laughs> a lot the amount of, of times I would do this in the game, and now to be like standing here, whoa, there's a lot of them. This, this, this was always the thing, and, and we, we do have it on a, a fairly easy level of difficulty. Right you now, got the but, healing spell too. If you you'll never that. get me. Yeah, you do have restoration if you need it. Um, I'm, I'm bailing. Never coming back to this community ever. You know, you know that that's gonna happen. Sometimes you just, I want to show Skyrim, show. 
you know, check this out. And then, you know, they, they go to the guard right away, and the guard usually is overpowered, and they're just dead in a couple minutes because uh, they're you can never they account shouldn't be doing. There's Wuthrad right there. Oh, nice. That was convenient. You can never account for what Nick Marguerite is going to do. He's kind of yeah. just a rogue. Wild card. Can't really censor him. Oh, they found me. You're getting a lot of experience. Oh, oh from man. These innocent that, is, people. that is an awful lot of guards right there. Oh, we got eight. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of archers joining the fight in the background. Uh-oh. Uh yeah. uh -oh. oh, a couple more. Tri triangle, triangle, triangle button, left hand. I'm going to try to turn around and do you're, it. You're going to die. <laughs> you're, you're done. <laughs> You are done. They got me. Oh, man. The family way to go down, Nick. There are a lot of guards there. Yeah. yeah so in my, in my defense. You you uh, you broke the law. Wait, but now I get gum. to play with the the sword here. Yep, do your little twisty <laughs> twisty of the sword. Sorry, I died. So that's one death for Skyrim. Oh, yeah. we got Three deaths for Doom. One. One for Skyrim. Probably won't die as much in this, I would assume, unless you just keep killing innocent people. I think it's six more, everybody gets a free no, pizza. No, we're good. Uh, you oh, know, this is perfect. It's where I wanted yeah, to be. Yeah. Cut off at five. Yeah. Because we do not have pizza to give you. I mean, we do, but we don't. Nick, can you go to Riften? I always liked Riften a lot. I don't know if you can. Let me uh, quickly. Maybe not. So, maybe not. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Just do your thing. Maybe go after a. After the deer. Oh, hey! Oh, oh he's <laughs> right there in your face. Yeah. There we go. Oh, ah. oh, wait. Give me your pelts! Happy Halloween. Alright. I think he's just a terror. What? This is, you gotta let the people see. They you know? Let the people deer. know. Combat. It's all about... Uh, since since you have the deer there, you might actually want to uh, check out the bow and arrow as you're uh, oh, yes. killing all the game out there in the wild. Um, mm, I items, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, go down uh, weapons. And uh, all the way to the bottom, you should see longbow. Just kind of keep going. There we go. Yep. Oh, Oop. I don't know if you got it there. And just press one of the move buttons, back out with circle. Uh, okay. And, uh, oh, sweet. We went through this before, but basically you hold them both up, uh, kind of parallel to each other, maybe like this. You, uh, use the trick. You can't see what I'm doing, but you <laughs> knock it back, and, uh, yeah, you let it, let it rip. <laughs> That's Hopefully not sweet. toward an innocent person. There was nothing there. I Ooh, know. What is that? That a is a butterfly. There is no chance I There's hit, no so I hit this if, if you hit the butterfly, we're not giving you free pizza. Hundred dollars. Where did he go? He's on the post, I think. Ah. Oh, I was playing yesterday, and I, I cut the butterfly down with a sword, and That's then impressive. just picked it up, and I was just throwing the butterfly down the hill. So uh, there's Skyrim there's, things you can do. There's yeah. some wolves around here. We'll do a little wolf hunting. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think if you go past stones. the guardian stones. So this uh, one. Just I think there's some guys. Down uh, down below, just past those stones. So down there? Yeah, go. Just jump off that cliff. <laughs> You'll see him. Yeah, there's a little campsite over there. See it? Off yonder. Right there. Or there, or here? Uh, dead ahead. Both oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can go uh, sneak, so hold triangle to get into your sneakiness. <laughs> or let them know you're coming with a well-timed shit. There you go. OK. See somebody. I don't know what you were aiming at. There, the, there she is. Sneaking. Go for a headshot from here. We get the sneak damage, bonus damage, right? Looks pretty good there. Oh! Nice. Oh. It's gonna take more than that. It's gonna take some practice, right? Because there's not an actual crosshair, or at least we're not seeing one. Yeah, you you really want to look down the, the the side of like the tip of the arrow and gotcha. look at the angle and, That's cool. and everything. You know, we're training training you to be a yeah. a real hunter. This I like that. It's, it's more it's tied to actual kind of something you could practice. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's something too where I've seen plenty, Ooh, plenty hey. of folks playing and some of them pick it up. I, I don't know if they uh, if they were in archery. Andrew Scharf, who's the lead producer on the game, he is a excellent archer. Has taught me 
probably will. Oh, wait, sorry, like in real life? No, 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 in oh, real okay, life. He's gotcha. an excellent Skyrim archer. Okay. I, I did he might, he might be good at other things. Oh, I don't come know. on. Got him. There you go. <laughs> right in the gut, you got him. <laughs> That's what you get! Oh, wow. <laughs> Took an arrow to the something else. Yeah. Uh, so, we want to wrap up now? Right around now, or you want to go a few more minutes, or? Whatever you uh, want. Any questions you have, or? or uh, uh, Nick, Nick, turn to your left. You're facing the blue screen right now. Oh, sorry. Get your um, back. Uh, we've got maybe another few minutes. Uh, we, Nick, what do you want to do? Whatever you would like. I can um, go and look at a nice vista, if yeah, you please. Yeah, get a good view yeah. to close this out. And you're also crouched right now, so if you hit triangle in the... Oh, there we go. You got it. I was wondering why I was moving so slow. Get hit by a giant. Yeah, you can go fight a giant. They're out right Have outside White Run, in the, right? air. In the, the farmland south of White Run. Uh, okay. That voice of God just cut. That was Jean Luc from the back room. What'd oh. you say, Jean Luc? Fight a giant. If you get hit by a giant, it launches you in the air with the physics. Oh. I want to see that in VR. Okay, let me just hit this moose. Oh God. If he can survive this wolf, ooh. You're getting good with the bow. Oh, that was excellent. That was triple. Yo, what up? Yeah. I mean, okay. That was good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're, it's they're they're in the, the stables right by White Yeah, Road. right south. No, uh, yeah, there you go. We're just south of there. That's where you meet the companions, speaking of, right? If you fight the giants. Or you can meet them there. I don't want to get hit by a giant. Right in their little hut. But, oh, okay. But you, no, you're right. You can you meet them and they say, come over this way. Come yonder. It's, uh, I like saying yonder when I yeah. show Skyrim. When in Rome. I think they kind of... They usually have a sarcastic remark, like, uh, you could hone your fighting skills more if you want to come join or help us out or something. Yeah, like, go... Aren't the giants, like, over there? South of White Run, I thought. Yeah, south, southeast, maybe. This way, right? Uh, I thought they were near that tower, no? Left, maybe? There was could some, be right. There's, there's definitely one, in, and I guess it depends on, you know, the, your character level, in, in some cases, of where things appear, but uh, there used to be one, like, a garden... If I recall, it's east. Or sorry, west. If you go west yeah. of. Uh, I think you're going the right way. Yeah, I think. I think I am. I don't want to do this. I don't want to get hit. I hope you go fine. Uh. Might not be giants here. Maybe not this time. I think part of it might also factor in. Could be wrong but might factor into what you've done in the questing yet. Like, we haven't even done Bleak Falls yet. Oh, gotcha. So. Wait, what's to your left? Is that a regular dude? To your left? Yeah, he's up on the rock. That's just the White Run guard. <laughs> Which, it was, as we all know, are still not safe from Nick. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> that cat that's, right? ac that's actually something uh, I was... I think I was at answering a Reddit question or something. Or, or somebody was clarifying it. An interview I did, and they said that I implied that we have added a virtual waving into wow. the game. And technically, it's true. Like you yeah. can take your flame hand and just, you know, hey, what's up? You can. You might and accidentally light someone on fire, but you, you can. That still might wave. happen. Yeah. Well, not seeing any giants, boys. I apologize. All right. Another time. But you are a giant among men. <laughs> You've done great. Let's just. Stand on this hill and ponder existence. I ponder your existence all the time. Ah, uh, cool. All right, so much beauty. Nick, thanks for walking us through Skyrim VR. Yeah. And uh, Matt Grandstaff, thank you so much for thanks, joining man. us. Thanks, uh, One more time, I'm gonna ask you, what's the spiel like? These three games, uh, sorry, these two and Fallout. When can we play them? What platforms? Pretty soon, but walk us through it. Sure. So November 17th. So what? That that's two weeks away. Yeah. Uh, we've got Skyrim VR on PlayStation VR. Also happens to be the same day as Skyrim Switch, uh, which has got some motion controls to it, but yeah. not VR, obviously. Uh, Doom VFR is uh, December 1st, and then and that's PlayStation VR and Vive, and then Vive only, uh, Fallout 4 VR on December 12th. If you're on other platforms wondering about your VR, we're, we're looking into that stuff in 2018. Uh, is a time when we'll be talking about other other platforms. Cool. So Bethesda's got a busy end of the year coming up for VR, for Switch, for a few different platforms. Uh, sometime VR next year. Very busy. Yes. <laughs> uh, then let, next year we're going to uh, get some Wolfenstein 2 at some point. If you haven't played that yet, go play that. Um, but again, Matt, thank you so much for joining. Nick, thanks for playing. 
uh, Bethesda, thank you so much for coming in to show us these games. Uh, you know, you've got, had a busy week with all the Paris Game Show stuff going on, uh, or at least the Sony Showcase here yeah. in San Francisco. Uh, if you join on Twitch, YouTube, GameSpot, or uh, if you're on Periscope, thanks so much for joining. We'll, uh, we'll have videos up throughout the week. Uh, I'll probably break these videos out. If you didn't get the chance to watch the whole thing, you can go back and watch Nick die a few times in Doom. Uh, what, once in Skyrim? Wasn't that bad, actually? Just once. Yeah. Just but once. as always, thank you so much for joining. We'll have another live stream at 11 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. That's The Lobby, our live show. So as always, stay tuned for that. And then uh, for more news, reviews, features, stay tuned to GameSpot, and we'll see you around. Thank you.